Hello everybody. I've got a new kind of interesting project going on here. I got one of these little uh, mini synthesizer units from the M5 stack store. Actually I got two of them. And um, I took one apart. And this is the little board that's inside there. Here's a little speaker. And then here's the connection that you route your 5 volt power to and also the output from uh, uh, like a MIDI controller. So what I did was if you look down here I took one of my uh, little MIDI Dream Blaster boards and I pulled the Dream Blaster part out itself which is uh, this guy. And essentially this, this little MIDI unit here which is I got plugged into it is uh, pretty much the same thing as the Dream Blaster. You know, what's on the Dream Blaster board, it's got a, a SAM 2695 chip on it. And what they've done is they've actually kind of routed that it through uh, probably some sort of like a little amplifier circuit uh, that can, you know, output to a speaker. And uh, so what I've done here is I've just, uh, I've left that part connected for right now. And I've just routed in the power and the, uh, you know, the MIDI out from this uh, controller board. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a whirl here and see what happens. Now the benefit of uh, what I've done here is unlike uh, an earlier video that somebody uploaded showing that they had actually taken this unit and uh, you know just plugged it straight into the uh, you know the SIO port um, by going through this MIDI controller chip which is right here this little pick chip um, this actually becomes just like uh, uh, MIDI not MIDI maze. MIDI mate. It, it, it's just like a MIDI mate. So it actually, th this little chip produces the thir 31, 250 hertz single, you know, clocking single, that anything that's looking to interface to a MIDI mate, which is what this MIDI car player right now is set up with its current driver, is it will see that, that clock and it will utilize it uh, to keep the, you know, the music basically in step. And um, so what I'm kind of thinking about here is maybe making like a you know either making like a little board little tiny board that has just that you know that particular pick chip on it with a you know with an interface connector that you can just plug this guy into it and of course route it to the SIO maybe I'm thinking kind of like something internal you know so instead of like a, a full like SIO um, jack just have a few wires that you could basically solder inside the, uh, you know, your computer, your Atari computer. Um, another thought is, okay, I got my, you know, my Nook Plus 4 system here on the uh, 576 Nook Plus, and I have room off of this uh, FujiNet model, and I'm thinking about maybe, and, and I have also have the FujiNet model ties into all the SIO, 5 volt power, and even the the audio input um, through the uh, SIO port, and so I'm thinking this might be a real nice little marriage here, is basically taking taking this board minus the speaker. In fact, we'll unplug that right now. So this board minus the speaker, 
and we basically make a board that this this uh, essentially gets attached to add like the little uh, pick chip and tie it all in and basically uh, when you plug this module in you would have a full-blown uh, mini player that would actually route back through the uh, you know the audio input of the, of the system so you could basically hear it on like your your monitor or external speakers so that's what I've kind of got in mind to do so stay tuned for <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call it stay stay tuned for that version and uh, thank you all for watching <laughs>